much to tell. Where should I even start? With all that we saw, what we heard, what we felt, this planet of ours, destiny, our part in it. Best to start at the beginning, perhaps. Midgar, the city of Mako, ruled by the Shinra Electric Power Company, who drained the planet of its very essence, the life stream, and processed it for industry as Mako. Our world was dying, and so few could hear her cries for mercy. Those who could rose up in her defense. The anti-Shinra rebels, Avalanche. Among them, Cloud Strife, an ex-soldier hired by the Resistance to destroy Reactor 1. In Sector 8, amidst the aftermath of the attack, Cloud met a flower seller named Aerith. She offered him a yellow blossom. One said to symbolize reunion. And thus was destiny set in motion. With Reactor 1 gone, Avalanche set their sights on Mako Reactor 5. Unfortunately, they were playing right into Shinra's hands. The company was able to draw the wool over the people's eyes. And in the end, destroyed Sector 7, killing thousands and laying the blame at Avalanche's feet. Though dear friends were lost, Avalanche had no time to grieve. Aerith had struck a deal with Shinra, who took her into custody. With her capture, Shinra's obsession was within reach. The fabled promised land. For Aerith was the last of the Setra, the ancient stewards of the planet. And only she could guide them to paradise. To save her, the team infiltrated the Shinra building, the company's beating heart. It was here that I, another prisoner, joined their story and assisted them in freeing Aerith. Yet during our flight, we came face to face with a man thought dead. The vaunted war hero, Sephiroth. Before he could be stopped, Cloud's foe fled with the corpse of Genova, the cataclysm from the stars and the catalyst of our plight. Eventually, we too made good our escape. Pursuing troopers defeated, we raced toward Midgar's edge. Yet Sephiroth once again intervened. Suddenly, deafening screams rent the air. Whispers, the arbiters of fate, descended upon the city. Before their imposing wall, Aerith warned us. This was destiny's crossroads. Every moment, every action, every step taken had all been as the whispers willed it. To fight them was to break free. On the other side of fate, Sephiroth waited, the whispers undulating within him. Cloud brought his blade down upon his rival, sundering destiny. But the fight won, and the shackles of destiny broken, we stood before the unknown, a world of boundless freedom. It was there, beyond where fate could follow, that a new journey began.
Ah, yes. An armament of the Fey. The carvings on its hilt should look familiar. Indeed, you'll find the very same markings on your own body. intertwined with the Gi, for they first came to these lands many millennia ago. This sanctuary is proof of their persistence, for it was built to ensure that they never escaped. But if they were sealed away thousands of years ago, how'd they break out and attack the Vale? That I cannot answer. Only the Gi themselves could. But enough about them. You are here to learn about yourself, Naraki. This cave serves as a boundary between our world and that of the Gi. It was vital to them and their plans. Were the Gi to seize control of it, the canyon would be doomed. And the people. When the Gi moved against us yet again, a certain Watcher recalled this vulnerability. Huh? Since time was of the essence, he entered the cave without reinforcements. As he had feared, it was teeming with Gi, ready to descend upon the village. Determined to protect the Veil, he pounced from one foe to the next, felling all who dared oppose him. Hold on. If there was a Watcher who single-handedly saved the canyon, how come I've never heard of that? <laughs> For now, you should focus on your own struggles with the Gi. Their malice grows more potent.
resourceful you've become. Similarity, yes, but this sanctum is much more ancient and serves a rather different purpose. The altars we came upon before were built to imprison the key. This, however, was built to provide the Cetra with a means to commune with them. Commune with them? Why would the Cetra do that? The Gi were the enemy. <laughs> Good and evil friend and foe. Dichotomy is not set in stone, as mutable as the winds. But for now, Anarchy, let us concentrate on the matter at hand, clearing a path to the truth.
his way here alone, and in his bravery took upon himself the burden of our hope. Quite the formidable fighter. 
<laughs> sure have. So, does this mean I passed the test? <laughs> I'm afraid that decision is not mine alone to make. <sighs> Let us consult with one more qualified. The Watcher of the Vale fought valiantly, and offered up his life in defense of our home. As you see, he still watches over us to this very day. Wait, is that... Seto? My father? No, there's no way. The poisoned arrows of the Gi transformed his body into stone, and there he has stood ever since, his watch eternal, our savior. What about my mom? Did she know what had happened to him? Oh, oh, oh. why, of course she did. It was, after all, she and Seto who asked me to see her off the cave. But why? Why did she never tell me the truth? Because she knew that if she did, you would attempt to seek your father out all by yourself. Your parents strove to keep our veil safe. But there is one thing they fought even harder to protect. You, Nanaki, their son. She was afraid. Because I was too small and weak. <laughs> Back then, perhaps. But not anymore, heavens no. You've become a fine warrior in your own right. And that is precisely why I brought you here. <laughs> like this. It's not where your journey is meant to end, my dear boy. You must leave the Vale once more. But I'm a Watcher now. I gotta protect our home, like he did. Listen to me, Mama Ki. When I first heard your friend's emphatic warnings, I dismissed them outright. No more than the ravings of misguided youths. When you've lived as long as I have, you start to believe you've seen it all, that no surprises remain. But I realize now how very foolish I have been. The eyes that I thought saw the world clearly have grown blind to new possibilities. But... I would hate to impede your progress any further. I bid you leave, Nanaki, before, like me, you become inured to your own ignorance. With sharper eyes and keener ears, go forth and in my stead seek the great truths of our world. Look after him for me. Don't worry. We will. You failed this trial, my boy. Continue your training and try again. Are you up to the task, Nanaki? You bet I am, after all. I am Nanaki, watcher of Cosmo Canyon and son of Seto, protector of our veil.
Hearken unto me. My name is Guy Natak. O oh, brave and noble Seto, I beseech you once more, hear the urgent pleas of my people. My thanks, Seto. You are as magnanimous as ever. The warrior Nanaki, and you, the Cetra. Come with me. That was... Oh, an exciting turn of events indeed. We'll back you up, Patuta. No. This one's free. Ugh. Can anyone explain to me why we're even taking this detour? Anyone? Because some of us are on a mission to secure the material we need to, you know, save our homeland. How can you talk like that in a place like this? I'm scared of it in my wits here. I don't know. This B dude's too nice to freak me out. He may act nice, but who knows what he's planning. Stay alert. The home of the Gi lies beyond. Now let us begin our journey. Not so fast. What's in it for us? Unless it's Materia, you can count me out. How strange you should mention Materia. My people are also in search of it. <laughs> okay, all aboard! stayed longer if I could, but I'll be back soon. I promise. Try swaying with the rocking of the boat? I wanna move less, not more. <laughs> Didn't seem to mind when you jumped aboard. Well, only because he mentioned materia. Be quiet. The planet is listening. And what's wrong with that? Anything that reaches the planet's ears in due time reaches those of the Cetra. Unfortunately, the Cetra are not a tolerant people. Excuse me, am I intolerant too? I'm Cetra. <laughs> you are indeed one of them, by lineage alone. You know not of their history. That has been lost to time. Their history? Consider your ignorance a blessing. The Cetra's past is fraught with horror and sorrow.
So there I am, on the ground, bleeding out, watching everything go dark. Thinking, this is it. This is how it ends. Only, it isn't. Suddenly, the wind picks up out of nowhere. Tugs at me so hard, it feels like it's tearing my soul right out of my body. Hmm. Next thing I know, I'm back in the orphanage. But nobody can tell me who found me or how I got there. It's a miracle. Sounds like what happened to me. Whole freaking army unloading on my position. I'm feeling every single force. One minute, I'm outnumbered, and the next, I'm alone. None of it makes any sense. I somehow managed to beat the odds and wake up here, alone. Why in the hell did fate pick me? Can't think that way. <laughs> Can't not think that way. Their luck runs out, but mine doesn't. I'm the only one who gets a pass. <laughs> and now that it's just me, what am I supposed to do? You know? Yeah, I get it. Hey, come with me. Sure, but why? I'll explain on the way. So, how's Cloud holding up? Mako Poisoning's done a real number on him. Doubt he's in for a speedy recovery either. But hey, hope springs eternal. Right. <laughs> if he does recover, you can bet your ass he'll act like it was nothing. Shrug it off and say he's been through no ten times that shit. Are we right talking there. about the same cloud? Come on. The are down, guy's desperate to prove himself. Not like he needs to. Everyone knows he's a bona fide badass. Huh. Hey, why don't you try picking up the some work as a merc? A zack of all trades. Why? Because one's not enough. I don't think about it. Get a load of this. <laughs> okay, let's see. The destruction of Sector 7 was orchestrated by Shinra themselves. We can't let those murderers get away with it. People of Midgar fight back against our corporate oppressors by joining Avalanche. Seek us out at the lot off Petal Lane. Wow, that's bold. Yep. These guys are setting a trap for themselves. Shinra will just roll in and round them all up. Doubt public security will even bother going through the motions. Easier just to shoot and skip the paperwork. Then anyone who goes is... An idiot, I know. But idiots are what we need right now. Folks will risk it all. Wait! Don't tell me you're going! The things I do for friends. Hey, you ever wondered about your purpose in life? What you're doing here? Sure, from time to time. Or all the time. Would never have guessed. Didn't used to, but things changed. Went through a lot after I joined Shinra, like a lot. 
I bet. I ask, because ever since I woke up, I've been wondering about what to do with all this time I've been given. Hey, Biggs. You said before I ought to try picking up some work as a merc. Yeah. Because one's not enough. So who's the one? <laughs> Cloud. He didn't tell you? Must not have wanted the competition. When exactly did you meet Cloud? The day before we hit Reactor 1. So... Uh, how long ago was that again? <laughs> Weird. These My days, internal clock's every busted. Time I sleep, yeah, I dream mine too. All the things I wish I'd What's that about anyway? <laughs> Good question. So, what do you think's gonna happen to our baby? I don't know. I just hope I can put the things You know... Hmm? I think I prefer being number two or three. Suits me much better. Yeah. Why don't we all go camping? Like, the guy who only has to worry about the how. Doesn't have to decide on the what. A minor role? Exactly. I'm no hero. So how come I was the one who got saved? Because someone needs you. You and your can-do attitude. And who might that be? You were the guy uh, with Aerith, right? Whoever brought well, you back, I guess? Homework, right? I'm assuming there was someone. Who could it have been? That's a good question. Hell with it! Let's just do what we want! It's just up ahead. Keep your eyes peeled. Copy. Nobody, huh? Not a soul. Well, at least Shinra was a no-show too, right? Who's there? <laughs> hmm? Huh. New recruit? Uh, as if I'd ever join Avalanche. I just came to see what kind of morons would fall for your dumbass propaganda, that's all. But I should have known. Nobody could be that stupid. <laughs> anyway, I'm out, losers. <laughs> I told you I wasn't cut out for a leading role. And here I thought I might have been saved for a reason. Some higher purpose. <sighs> Sorry for wasting your time. It's up to us to find our own purpose. I mean, who says it's gotta be one way? Everyone's sitting back, acting like the world's doomed, but the future's not set in stone. We're not powerless. So long as we don't lose sight of what's important. <sighs> you know, what matters most of all when the going gets tough. I don't know, hopes, dreams, maybe? Something like that. So long as we've got those. And hold on tight and never let go. Like this? Like, like your life depends on it. <laughs> the world's lucky to have you. It's a start. Anyway, I gotta run. I'll be sure to pay a visit to Cloud when I get the chance. See ya. Think about what I said. Guess I should probably head home too. Hmm. Home, huh? I'm back. Welcome home. Welcome home. Guess who I just saw? Biggs. Really? Uh, 
Said he'd visit, too. Oh, yay! <laughs> Did he say anything about Daddy or Tifa? Oh, uh, sorry. Forgot to ask. Aww! Zack, would you mind checking on Aerith for me? Sure. We're all headed for the same place. You'll see your daddy and Tifa again. Soon? Soon enough, Marlene. Soon enough. of the gear. Just now. Our flesh is gone, yet our spirits are condemned to linger. Outsiders such as we are unwelcome, forever denied the planet's embrace. I feel for you, and only imagine how tough that's been. My kin now dwell within these effigies. I beseech you, lend them your ears. Long has it been since they have had an audience. <laughs> They're not bound to the planet, and so she rejects them. Because you have to come from the life stream to return to it. Which means these dudes can't die, right? <laughs> They're invincible! I'm not sure that's something to celebrate. Being stuck as spirits with no hope of release sounds like a fate worse than death. As if you know anything about dying. Uh, I mean, are you even really alive? <laughs> Another stuck spirit, perhaps? We shall not rest till the materia is ours. You and me both. <laughs> 